far as I can tell, families have two kinds of people. The ones who want everything to stay the same, and the ones who want to spice things up a bit. I guess you can count me in the second group. Zoe, too. She's my sister. Frank? He's always up for something crazy. And Mom, she's a classic. Gramps loves opera, so you can count him in for some fun. And Schubert, <laughs> he's just cool. I guess in our family it was only Pop who was really set in his ways. Of course, we all thought that that would change once we got our new computer. I'm TJ, and this is a story about when my family, the Martinettis, brought home a computer. Getting a computer in our family was a real adventure. We're all so different, I never thought we could agree on one. Mom, you see, she runs a home business. I get off Hey, Mom. That is when she's not running the home. Frank, he's the brains around here, studying to be an engineer, or something like that. Zoe and Gramps, they're the Martinetti Philharmonica and Jug Band. Allegro, honey. More Allegro. Well, that's what Pop calls them anyway. As for Pop, he's got his own ideas about things. Where's the sports? But he's a great guy. Never fun. Hey, Pop, check this. <laughs> That's pretty clever, TJ. Yeah, Pop's understanding, supportive. But no points. <clears throat> and sometimes as stubborn as a mule. No points? What do you mean, no points? It's a work of art here. A work of art? Yeah, that's what everybody thought. Oh, I like it. No points. Except Pop. Now I gotta tell you about points. And I gotta tell you how we weren't gonna keep the computer until we earned enough points to convince Pop we should. The world got along fine for thousands of years without computers. <laughs> the world got along terrible. And that's because there was no Tetris. You hear that? Exactly! <laughs> See what I mean? I better go back to the beginning, though, because it's a wild story, and you really gotta know our family to understand. I guess it all started the night I came home late from school. Sorry I'm late, you guys. I was finishing up my report at the computer lab school. Oh, well, since when's our typewriter not good enough for reports? Pop, you can do all kinds of stuff on the computer you can't do here. Mm -hmm. Like? I use the electronic encyclopedia, the internet. I put pictures and words together. Has this... The thing is, Pop had a computer at work, and about all he ever did was put numbers into it. I don't blame him for not wanting one of those, but he didn't know there was a whole other world out there. Hard disk drive, it's really cool. I hear you can even get music on the computer. Opera? Sure, Gramps, and uh, pictures, too. Well, you can do that on a computer? Mm-hmm. Oh, hey. The kids could really use a computer, Lou. Maybe even you and me. Yeah. I don't know, Mayor. What if we get one and we don't use it? Well, we could just look. I want one. Me too. No promises. So that's how the great computer quest began. Of course, Pop said that before we did anything, we had to talk to an expert. Well, who do we know that knows a lot about this kind of stuff? Fletcher. <laughs> the next day, we went to see Fletcher. Fletcher was what Pop would call a piece of work. He was Frank's friend, a real genius, and he sold computers. There he is. <laughs> Whoa, the whole Martinetti family, wow. Fletcher, we're uh, thinking about buying a computer. Tell Pop it's a good idea. Oh, it's a good idea. Now, I could sell you something expensive, Mr. M, but uh, I won't. <laughs> Thanks, Fletcher. Now, what do you got? Well, let's see. Uh, you'd be interested in a computer the whole family could use, right? Right, yeah. Something with multimedia. Yeah. yeah! Well, we have a lot of PC clones in stock. PC clones? Now this one's on sale. Of course you want to add a few options. A CD-ROM drive, you need that. A sound card, you need that. A memory management and adapter. Of course you want to memorize some commands. Uh, you'll need some instructional books for that. Then it hit me. Fletcher was making a point. Oh, and, uh, and also, you have to configure this one to run multimedia. Uh, Mr. M, now all of this is yours for mere... Uh-oh. Pop was not impressed. 
But then... On the other hand, you could buy a Macintosh Performer. Yeah, Fletcher showed us the Performer. It was like the Macintoshes we had at school, except it came with a whole bunch of extras. It had CD-ROMs that Zoe and I could use for learning. There are programs Mom could use for her home business. And a modem, too, to get information online. Plus, there were games. This was a lot easier than a PC with Windows, and Fletcher showed us why. On the Windows PC, he had to know pathways and commands to manage files. But with the Performa, you just clicked on a file, and there you were. On the Windows PC, running a CD-ROM was a real hassle. But with the Performa, you just put in the disk, and bam! It made everything you want to do simple. We all thought for sure Pop was going to buy the Performa. And the price? It was a done deal. Well, think about it, all right? Think about it? No way. What's to think about? We saw that one work. We saw this one work. This is better. Now here's where the You're fun the began. What expert? Because Gramps and Pop, they always see things different. Consider here. You were always so stubborn. Well, me? Pop went I, one I way. You, I'm not, I'm not going to argue. Gramps the other. I'll buy it. All right? Yes. And I'll also pay for the printer. Gramps. But here's the deal. If the family proves that they really need it, then you got to pay me back. Oh, Dad. But... So that's how it started. A little friendly wager. What do you say? Gramps was going to buy it. What? and bet Pop that we could change his mind about computers. You're on. I'm on? Okay. Okay, you got And that's when Pop thought of points. Okay, kids. Everybody. We get 100 points in one month, and I'll pay for the computer. How do we get points? I'll figure it out. You. All I knew was that we were finally bringing a computer home. No, not you. And the next month was going to be very interesting. You could be the referee and the judge. You're so easy with Bringing a computer home was a pretty big deal in our family, and we couldn't wait to set it up. Pop read all the instructions, but we kids knew it was simple. Keyboard. Mouse. Printer. Bingo. It didn't take a rocket scientist, but Pop took no chances. According to this, the procedure looks fairly hey, Pop, simple. You want the honors? Now came the moment of truth. Could Pop start it? Would it actually work? The suspense was too much until... Welcome to Macintosh. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to the Martinettis. Now the performer had a demo that made learning to use it easy. Okay, what do I, what do, I do now? Just click here, Mom. And right from the start, everybody could. Uh -huh. <laughs> Best of all, the computer came with all kinds of programs ready to use. There are programs for writing and drawing, programs for managing money, too. And the performer was packed with multimedia. It had a full encyclopedia with pictures and sound, the family doctor, and it came with a 3D atlas that was so cool, you could believe you were anywhere on the planet. Now, it didn't take long to get the hang of things, and Mom proved it. She put together the first ever Martinetti family newsletter. She took pictures we had from videos and made those part of it, too. And when she printed it out, I could almost sense a new career in the making. Mom, yeah. media mobile. Hey, how you doing that? Of course, Pop was quick to bring us back to Earth. All right, from you now, Zach. remember our deal. Earn 100 points, and I pay for the computer. Otherwise... How do we get points? Well, here's what I've worked out. <clears throat> you do your homework on the computer, you get a point. You raise your grade, you get two points. No, 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 no. Come on. That's worth at least ten. All right. I have to All hand right. it to Pop. Five points. He never makes a decision lightly. I use it for business? Yeah. If you told him this computer could take him to the moon, he'd want to go three times to make sure. It's just an important purchase, Mayor. I want to make sure everybody uses it. What did I tell you? The funny thing was, the computer fit into our family just like it belonged. I mean, it really helped us all in different ways. Mom found she could do her whole greeting card business with it. She could design new cards and make changes just like that. Oh, I love 
like that better. And to send a copy to her publisher, she just faxed it right from the performa. Open wide and say, ah. <laughs> Zoe had a whole other universe to explore. She loved learning with multimedia and couldn't get enough. She could read stories that came to life. That week, everyone in Arthur's class studied harder than ever. And that taught her things about the world. Fletcher had said there were thousands of CD-ROMs out there. I believed him. And Zoe would have had them all if she could. For me, I like that our computer's a Macintosh, because that's what our school has. And the Macs at school have tons of stuff I use. Only now, instead of staying late, I could bring my work home. I could use our computer to put it together. I could make reports with pictures and sound that were just fantastic. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal I think it was Gramps, though, who did the most amazing things. He figured out all kinds of stuff to do with the computer. <laughs> and he discovered eWorld, the online service from Apple. Gramps had never seen an online service, but before you knew it, he was meeting people from all over. I think it did him a lot of good. More good than he ever dreamed. You know, Frank, there's other people out there just like me. <laughs> no. Really? People who like the same things I do. Hmm? So who's Rose? Never you mind. <laughs> As the weeks went by, we kept burning points. Okay, now, including homework, mom's work, grandpa's stuff, there's 72 points here. Not bad. Of course, Zoe thought she deserved points for beating Pop in games. No points for games. And Gramps agreed. Hey, why not? You learn things from games. <laughs> exactly. Frank and I Empire thought so, but Pop didn't exactly see well, it our way. Somebody's not learning enough. TJ, we'll get points if you bring your math grade up. I know, I'm working on it. The proof's in the pudding. Pop, you know I hate that saying. The proof I hate it. is a in a da da pudding. <laughs> I like it. Okay, everybody. Family picture. Perfect. The thing was, we were having the time of our lives with the computer. And there was no turning back. We just had to convince Pop to keep it. We were desperate. And desperate people try anything. Even math programs. Da, 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 dee. Dee. What's this? Never mind. I'll be off here in a minute so you can do your math. So I never would have thought a little machine could make right so now. much difference for a family. And you know what? I still didn't know the half of it. Like, who's Rose? Huh. In the days that followed, we all worked on the new computer. Mom did business. Zoe learned all about animals and music. I practiced my equations. And Gramps, he made friends all over cyberspace. Frank went back to college, but he kept in touch with email from the Mac in his dorm. Using the computer just became second nature at our house. So, this is really helping? Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you can do your business better now? Absolutely. Come here, I'll show you what I've been working on. Do you like this one? Very nice. Good. I'm faxing a draft to the publisher. The computer had programs that could help Mom do everything. She could keep track of work schedules, addresses, and projects. All right here. And these are your orders? Uh-huh. Not bad. Zoe, now there's another story. What she did on the computer was awesome. 
She had a video that we shot at the zoo, and she took scenes from it to make her own picture book. We went to the zoo, TJ and me. You wouldn't believe all the animals we'd see. Do you like it, Pop? I think it's going to be a bestseller. <laughs> oh, oh, here comes Tamino. He's the hero. He's the guy that gets the magic flute. Now, Gramps, he loves to talk opera. Mm -hmm. With the CD-ROMs he had, oh. he could talk it with us. And we could learn. Chased by a serpent. What happens after that? Gramps took to the computer like an old hand. Listen, Wait, listen I, to music. What about Tamino? Do you know? He has his own music. I had a feeling there's something different about him now. Like he had a secret he wasn't ready to share. Every time you see the serpent, you hear that same music. So you can tell the serpent. As for me, I worked on my favorite subject. Well, math wasn't so bad. If you could go at your own pace. And with the computer, I could. I think you've got it. It was about this time that Pop got it, too. I mean, liking the computer. I remember one night, I was awake late. There was Pop. I couldn't believe it. He was calling up eWorld to get quotes on stocks. And he found news articles he wanted, too. Then he went to work on his checking account, budgets, and investments. He could even use his DOS files from the office right on the Mac. I know you're there, TJ. Have you ever used this thing before? The last few nights. Good night, son. Good night, Pop. And then came the day of reckoning. Email from Frank. He's coming home this weekend. I got a new order today. A happy Mother's Day card. Yay! That's a point for us. Yes. You guys will never believe this. Guess what? What? I got a B plus. TJ, a B, B plus. Oh, terrific, pal. Woo. You did great. Woo. You know what? No. We Excellent. are. We're just a couple of more points to go. <laughs> you didn't add mine, Dad. Why? You got points. What for? Oh, I use the computer to balance the budget, analyze our finances. I made some big decisions on it. Put me down for five. Five? Yes! Where does that put us? Where does that put us? You know what? We did it. We did we it! Did it. Yeah. What's happening? Right. We're keeping the computer. No, I'm in the wrong house. Uh, you were never going to let the computer go, were you? Ah, uh, I just wanted to make sure everybody would use it. Mm. You know, I guess I better write that check, huh? Oh, I'll okay. get it! Is Carmine in? Grandpa? You must be Rose. And you must be Carmine. Am I late? Oh, no, no, you're not near. Right on time. Right on time. Hey, everybody. This is Rose. Well, Hi. hey, Rose. TJ. Welcome. Uh, where'd you two meet? Right over here on the Opera Lovers Forum. Oh. The Opera Lovers Forum? <laughs> so that's what Gramps had been doing all this time. So this is your performer? Yep. That's it. How many megs of RAM, Carmine? Eight. <laughs> I, I knew you were a power user. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? I read all the magazines. I do too. Come back, man. It's like everything changes. I'd like to propose a toast to our honored guest, Rose. You are always welcome in our home. Salute. Salute, Dad. Salute, Rose. So that's our story. One month in the life of the Martinettis. I wouldn't say that everything that happened was on account of our computer, but I wouldn't say it wasn't either. I mean, we didn't only get a computer, it got us. And sometimes I think it even knows what it got itself into. Well, after all, it is a Macintosh. <laughs>